More visitors equals more money. Why, you might be asking? Well, my name is Harrison Brown, The Money Entrepreneur, and I want to help you not only get more visitors to your website, but ultimately monetize those visitors. Now, you might be thinking, well, why would you want to help me monetize those visitors, and ultimately, why do visitors even matter for my website? Why does it matter for my company? Well, having website traffic, in my opinion, is probably the most important thing. Not just because it's what I do, but on the flip side of things, there's only so much you can rely on for referrals. And guess what is not guaranteed? Referrals. Guess what's also not guaranteed? Answering cold calls. But you could build traffic consistently year after year, time after time, and optimize your funnels, which is the video before this, forever. So ultimately, it becomes a numbers game. That's really all that it becomes at the end of the day is numbers, right? You take the amount of visitors that you have, and then you narrow it down through the through the funnel and then ultimately at the end of the day you're going to be left with a certain number of those people so how many people are there well i want to show you guys some interesting numbers i've kind of ran some stuff on the side and i want to show you guys really in real time like how this matters so much for your business that's really going to be the simplest way to lay this entire thing out because the more visitors you get to your website the more money you're going to be able to make now you might be thinking well harrison i own a local small business trust me this will work just as well for you. So if you fall into that category, stay tuned. Now, if you're thinking about starting a business, I also have a video on that just in the past um, where you can, you know, the things that I wish I knew. So if you're watching this video and you're like, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to start a business, watch that video first. It is incredibly important. But if you have an established business or you're looking to grow your business, this is something that we absolutely need to dive into right now. So let's jump over to my computer here. I have my handy dandy tablet. I'm very excited to be using it. Um, right here check that thing out i love it so what i want to do is i want to kind of take uh into consideration here essentially a couple different things right you're going to have your website and i'm just going to draw a nice little square and i'm just going to do www dot right that's supposed to be a w this is my new drawing pad please cut me some slack here and ultimately you're going to be driving traffic right so you're going to have people right and you essentially you want their little eyeballs to look at your website right that's that's ultimately the goal that's why you build good content that's why you work so hard on your website and you spend all this money now if you're not spending a lot of money on your website and you don't particularly care about content this video is probably not for you but i would even venture to say you're going to get some crazy value out of this so the first thing is you want people to visit your website right but how many people right do you actually want visiting your website right is it is it 1000 is it 5000 is it 10,000, right? How many people do you actually want visiting your website? Well, ultimately, or the, the use case is more people mean more money. And I wanna kind of break this down to you. So let's get into some numbers here. I really wish I could make some incredible numbers on here, but I can't, but I have already pulled up some numbers here. So let's just say you have a thousand visitors, right? And we're gonna do a uh, thousand people, right? We're gonna do a nice thousand people. And ultimately, out of those thousand people that visit your website, your goal is to get about 10% of them. If you can get more, definitely go get more. But if you can get at least 10% of them to give you their email address, right? How do you get those people in there? Well, that's the video from before. This is the aftermath of that video uh, or, or the after. But essentially, you want an ad, content marketing, YouTube, blog, Pinterest, all that kind of stuff. But we're focusing just on this stuff for right now. So you want an email address. That is ultimately the most important thing. So if you can get 10,000 people, I mean, sorry, 1,000 people to your website that give you an email address, you're probably gonna get at a 10% rate on average 100 people that are going to actually give you an email address that you could physically do something with. So send them emails, you know, you can use that as a look like audience on Facebook, whatever, right? You need their email address. It is probably the most important thing. Now. I don't want to feel like a Russell Brunson kind of guy where I'm like, sales, sales, sales. But in theory, really, the more people that visit your website, the more money you're going to make, right? So let's say 10% of those people out of that thousand give you an email address. Great. Now on average, right, you're going to lose a percentage of your subscribers over time. So maybe if you send out an email every week or every other day, whatever it is, right? Let's say on your first, you know, you, you get their email address, first email, first email address, you get about... 90% of the people that you got their email addresses to actually open that email, right? And they visit your stuff. So now we have 90, pretty self-explanatory. I know I don't write, right? I apologize. I did not do good in, in school. 
And then out of that 90%, maybe some people find it less interesting. So maybe 80% of these people actually really want to, uh, that's not S-T-N-D, um, 80% of it want to actually read it. So you have 72 people, right? So out of your first 100, you sent a second email and 72 people. Now these are super rough numbers and your numbers are going to vary based on your data that you're going to get back from it. Now I would definitely recommend you should be firing up an Excel sheet, seeing where people are at in the funnel and all that kind of stuff. And if you don't know what a funnel is, please go watch the other video, but you have 72 people left over. Now after that, right, you're probably going to send out a third email, third email. And out of those, out of that third email, maybe 70% you know, of, of that original 72 are still around. So you're talking about 50 emails, right? Now you lost about 50%, right? And that's probably the case, honestly, depending on what you're giving away. If your giveaway wasn't stellar, they might not be interested. If your ebook wasn't absolutely a crusher, they might leave. That's just the nature of the beast, right? And your third email, these should all be value, by the way. If they're not value, they are probably not helping you. And your third email, maybe 50, 50 people actually open it, right? But the real number is that sale or that offer. Sale or offer. What does that look like for you, right? On average, most of the time, you're getting 1% conversions on your stuff. Now, that number varies drastically for some people. Maybe it's a 5%, maybe it's a 10%. But for the sake of this case, we're going to use a 1%. And if we use a 1%, right? 1% right here, you're going to be left with 0.5 people are going to be buying your product. So in theory, if you only get a thousand visits per month, and like I said, these are very rough numbers and you could fix these numbers. You can make them better or worse over time. But essentially you want to think about if you get a thousand people to your website, you're going to get a hundred emails, right? You're going to get 90 people that are going to open your first 72 for the second 50 for the third and then half a percent are actually going to take you up on your offer even or better yet one percent of people are going to take you up on your offer now if you do happen to get a two percent conversion rate on this th in theoretical funnel right you're you're talking about getting one person who is going to take that offer right that is the magic number is one person out of every thousand the cool part about this is, is if you can get this number to, you know, 4x or 5x, right? Now you're getting 4, 5x, right? Now let's take the same scenario, right? And I know this is going to sound insane, but let's say you get 10,000 visitors per month to your website, right? You get 10,000 visitors at, you know, 10% uh, of that giving you your email addresses, is gonna be a thousand, right? Phenomenal, right? Then you're gonna have 900 people, right? It's just basically all of these with a zero behind it, 720, right? And then you have 500, and then ultimately you have five people buying your things, right? Which is also not bad. 10,000 people per month really isn't that difficult to achieve. I, I'm totally serious when I say that. Now, you're not gonna get that overnight, but in theory, that 10,000 people is not that difficult. Now, there may be some expert marketers watching this video, and for those people, congratulations. Now, this is really the, the cool part here, and, and let's use we're going to use the 10,000 scenario. I'm actually going to move this up a little bit. But we're going to use the 10,000 scenario again. And I've actually pulled up a little Excel sheet on the side of my screen here. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. So we have those 10,000 people, right? And let's just say out of those 10,000 people, maybe you get a 20% opt-in rate, right? So you have a 20% opt-in rate. And so now you're talking about 2,000 people that are giving you email addresses, right? That's a huge number. Now, if you can get out of that 2,000 people, right, point or 95% of those people to actually open your email, right? Now you're talking about um, you're talking about 1,900 people that are getting your first email. Huge, if you really think about it, right? And if you even keep the rest of the same numbers, right? So if you keep 80% on your on your second email, right? So 80% of that would be 1,500, 1,500, specifically 1,520, 
um, on your second, right? Second. And then you have on your third email, it's 70% of people opening it, right? It's going to be 1,064 on your third email. Now, this sounds great because you got just, you, you increase your emails, right? By an additional 10%. Right, so in theory, we talked about it, you'll have five up here, so in theory you should have ten. And the reason why I'm putting it off to the side is the crazy part is, if you could get your conversion rate to point, I don't know, let's say point three, right? You're talking about 30, almost 32 people are going to be signing up for whatever you have to offer. And all you did was you kept the same amount of traffic, right? This is the same amount of traffic up here and the same amount of traffic down here, but the only thing you did was change your opt-in, right? You made it way better, You whatever you did, you spruced it up, you changed the lettering, you changed the coloring, whatever that may be, and then ultimately, you just increased the amount of people that are taking your offer by adjusting your offer. So maybe that's better copy. Maybe that's a better sales page. Whatever that is. Maybe it's a video that goes on with it. Maybe it's a additional offer. So if you do offer this, you get an additional service. So maybe it's a one-hour coaching session. Maybe it's an, an additional feature. Maybe it's a free software. Maybe if it's a trial of a software, right? So you just took from, from 1,000 visitors to one customer, right? To 10,000 visitors to five customers. But all it took was a couple tweaks, and I encourage you guys to go look at a funnel. And I'm going to break down everything that there is that, to know about a funnel, you know, as far as numbers go. But think about it, right? That's pretty impressive. You just took out, you know, you just took 10,000 people. The same 10,000 people you were already getting month after month, you increased that email opt-in, right? You really kept everything else the same, and you just fixed your offer to make it really good. So instead of a point, you know, one percent, maybe it's a three percent, and now you're getting thirty-two new customers, right? How much better would your business be if you went from one customer on average per month, or five customers on average per month, to thirty-two customers per month, right? You could charge more. You could pick and choose who you want to work with. Honestly, the opportunities that that come with that is tremendous so you don't necessarily need for anyone that's like oh you know you need a sh you need tons and tons of traffic to grow your business that's a lie what you need to do is you need to hit the like button but then after that you need to go out and you need to fix your offers you need to work on your pipeline and see where people are coming in where they're going on your website what who's opting in on what emails who's sticking around who's unsubscribing right a b test that stuff and i'll go into a b testing in another video probably right after this one also of hey What's working, what's not working, how do we figure it out, and how do we get better results out of the traffic that you're already getting? And that is the most important part. If you become obsessed with the numbers to make it as good as possible, it's only gonna benefit you in the long run. And heck, if you took that same third funnel right here and you bump this thing, right? Let's just, let's get, cr I love getting crazy when I, when I add some wild numbers in here. Let's say you add t uh, an, an additional 90,000 people, right? You change this into, uh, hold on, my eraser. Cool. Now you change this. Nope, I just put it in the wrong spot. I'm sorry. You change this to 100,000 people, right? You're talking about 300 and almost 20, 319 people per month, month after month after month. Right, just by adding, granted 90,000 visitors per month is a lot of people, but if you could do this and you could replicate this month after month and keep growing your traffic and growing your traffic and growing your traffic and figuring out your numbers and you change those percentages by one, two, three, four, five percent time and time again, and maybe it takes a couple months to get here, right? This is something that we do. This is something that we offer people and your, your money will go up exponentially. I took a, an email sequence from a customer that was three emails long. Right, actually, his his was two emails long. I made it to three emails. I A/B tested all of them, and he went from fifty thousand dollars in about seventeen thousand emails to seventy-two thousand dollars in five thousand emails. So that's I think like a three hundred percent increase in by adding one email and A/B testing, going through the numbers and refining it and refining it and refining it. So that's all. That's really all you have to do is more traffic usually means more money. And if you're getting a lot of traffic to your website and you're not making that money. You need to go in and just evaluate and see why are they not get, why are they not opting in, right? If you're getting a thousand people to your website and you're not getting a hundred people signing up and you're only getting five people signing up, you got to figure out a better opt-in then, right? And ultimately, if you do get that opt-in, right, and if you get it to that ten percent mark, 
but then nobody opens up your first email. Your first email is either too spaced out or it's just not good enough. And you got to write better copy or write better headlines, whatever it is, but you got to go through the process time and time again. And that is ultimately how you're going to end up making significantly more money for your business and bringing on new clients. And last time I checked, every business wants more clients. It's very rare that they don't. And every, every business wants good clients. The best part is, and this is something that nobody talks about, is when a customer goes through your funnel and they open all your emails, they get that opt-in, they get super excited, they keep visiting your website over and over and over again, those are 10 out of 10 times the best customers you will ever get because they've seen your stuff, they know what you're capable of, they know how you do it, and ultimately, time and time again, they are going to be the best customers, they are gonna pay on time, most of the time, and they're gonna be the most loyal and you never have to worry about losing them. That is the most important thing about all of this that nobody ever talks about. Those customers are the best customers. So my name is Harrison Brown, the Million Entrepreneur. If you found value in this, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that, don't forget that little notification bell, all right, please. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye. Thank you.